acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. By your acceptance of this sacrificial offering, O Lord, grant that your servants, the deceased members of our hospitality and pilgrimage, may be sharers in the abundant riches of Christ, so that with him they may be raised again to life and receive a place at his right hand, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying, might be consoled by the promises of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed but not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels and saints, with thrones and dominions, with all the powers of heaven, together with Mary, the Mother of God, and our loving Mother also, who sing forevermore their joyful song of praise. for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jean-Marc, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also Anna and Jess, and Emma and Paul and Ruston, and Susan and Michael and Breda, and Kina and Benicia, and James and Peter and Alan and John and Alice, and all our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, St. Bernadette, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and fallen by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us wish each other the sign of our friendship. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring my soul to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. <coughs> Hear, O God, your children, nourished now by the sacrament of salvation, and that through the Holy Spirit you raise Christ, your only begotten Son, from the dead. So grant your faithful servants the deceased members of our hospitality and pilgrimage, the joy of life and immortality through Christ our Lord. And a big thank you all to have helped with our Mass today. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and glorify the Lord. <clears throat>